Hey y'all, it's K Love here. And I've had my box braids up for about two months now. And when I say they are my life, they are life. They are so convenient. They get me up and out the door. I don't have to spend 20 minutes on my hair. I don't have to stress about what I'm going to do to my hair in the morning. I just get up and go. I do not recommend anyone to style their braids as soon as they get them. Wait at least a month until they are loosed and you know for sure that it doesn't hurt, you know, if you keep the style in for the whole day. Because I know even now, two months in my braids, they still hurt if I keep these styles up all day. Also, make sure you're putting oil on your edges and in between your braids to make sure your hair and your braids are getting some type of moisture. I like to do this in the morning and night. The peppermint gives you a very refreshing feeling and helps me sleep so well and wakes me up bright and early. You'll need some oil for your edges, some oil for your hair. I use Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Sheen. You'll also need a brush to brush the quote unquote baby hair. At least two scrunchies and a few body pins. I only had one right now, but you need a few. The first style I'll be showing you is the crown braid. So first you need to part your hair vertically down your head and put one side in a ponytail to make sure you don't, you know, interfere with the braid. So with this part, with one part of your hair, you need to braid one part up and one part down. Just to make sure your braid is not that clumpy or it doesn't look so uneven. By doing this, you'll have an evenly braid going around your head. Once you're finished with that braid, you're going to head over to the other side, unravel the hair, take out the scrunchie, and start from the top as if you were just braiding it down there. Finishing up that braid, I know you're looking like this doesn't look like a crown braid to me, but as you wrap the loose ends around, you get to see how it can come out. See? Look. Grab your bobby pin and the loose end and stretch that as far as you can. Once you're down to the last skinny part of your braid, just lock that in. Grab your other body pin and place it at the end of the last stretched braid and ta-da! There you go. Fix some, you know, whatever is poking out. If it's not neat enough, you can grab some bobby pins and pull the loose ends on the top of your head. Now, this is my favorite hairstyle of all time in box braids. Like, seriously. You have to first part your section your hair off in the front and braid it to really like separate it from the rest of your hair because you do not want to mess up this size swoop honey it's the best it really shapes your face to the T I love it once you're done sectioning off you're going to pull the rest of your hair up to the top of your hair as if you were making a high ponytail which you are, but it's a few more steps, more than just a high ponytail. Now 
now that you've got your ponytail high and perky, get that side swoop right together. Make sure it is how you want it. And if it's not, you can just pull the braids out that you want to be in there out of the ponytail or into the ponytail if you don't want that many braids in there. After that, you're going to simply just pull that hair around your ponytail and just stick it in there. You can secure it with a bobby pin, but I just stick it in there and twist it to make sure it won't come out. It really won't come out. These braids are very stiff, so they're just secure on its own without anything. That's why I only use like two or three bobby pins because you really don't want to get irritated throughout the day with all the bobby pins in your head. Now, do you see what I'm saying? I just love how it just shapes my head and makes it look so neat. Like, I went to the shop to go get my braids done or something. I don't know if it's just me, but I love it. You can leave it down or you can um, pin it up in a bun. Secure that piece with a bobby pin and then you just have it. The quick easy simple swoop side bang with a bun and it makes you look so elegant you can wear this anywhere if you just want to get up go to work or if you want to go out with friends now, so right now I'm fixing to do my everyday get up and go hairstyle to school to work out anything You can leave it down, or you can do as I'm demonstrating. A really nice updo, just quick, easy, and presentable. This is one of the hairstyles you need to wait at least a month until your hair has gotten old and you have a lot of new growth because you will have you will feel a lot of pulling on your edges because I am actually braiding a braid I'm around my perimeter of my head. Start off by sectioning off the hair that you're going to braid. You can actually use less hair than I use here. I use too much and I just realized that when I was editing it because once I was putting a bun in, it was kind of looking stingy back there. So try to use only like two rolls of braids. Braid it to your satisfaction. Spice it up a little bit. This is just a tutorial on how I do it. And um, I do prefer a little less hair. But anywho, start braiding down. It doesn't matter which way you want it to go. I just always braid to my right first. I have no clue why. But I am right here, so maybe that's why. But um, ignore my dear stare. <laughs> um, just braid until the end, and I'll meet you when we're done. That girl braid pretty fast, don't she? Just grab the rest of that hair and put it in a high ponytail as you did before. As high as possible because you want to make that high ponytail visible. And like I said before, I did make a mistake with adding so much hair in my braid. I didn't realize it at all when I was doing it. But um, bring that braid around as if, you know, like a crown braid. But it, is, it will be 
unleveled and that's that's the the difference with the crown braid and this braid it will be unleveled but that is fine it kind of gives you a, a like a different type of look and it's very cute when you do it the right way Also, a quick hairstyle you can do in the morning. Not trying to waste too much time on your styling process. You can make a diagonal part on the side of your head, pulling a side um, swoop bang to the side, and pulling also the rest of the hair on the, on the uh, opposite side into a ponytail, and you're done. <laughs> quick and easy, right? This next hairstyle is so cute, one of my favorites. And it's so easy and so popular right now. It's the two ponytails in the front. I don't really know what to call it, but when I do it, you'll see. First, you'll section off the top of your head to um, make the two ponytails that I'm gonna be making at the top. So next, um, once you section off, you put a vertical part in between that section and get your first rubber band, put it over that section of hair and just put it in ponytail. to wrap your hair as if you were putting it in a bun in a regular ponytail. It's so easy. Use a bobby pin and don't make this face. <laughs> Use a bobby pin to secure it and make sure it doesn't come out throughout the day. If you do plan on having this in the whole day, just make sure you put a bobby pin in there because I don't want you guys having one ponytail up and one ponytail down. You can also just use that section and put one ponytail up there in a bun and that's it and you'll look just as fine with one ponytail as you look with two ponytails girl thank you so much for watching guys please like and subscribe for more videos see you later